your forecast first from Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro. It's going to be staying quiet overnight and starting out tomorrow just partly cloudy, 33 degrees. And as we move on through the afternoon hours, looks like things are going to be warming up despite the fact that we will see breezy conditions, a high of 50 eight degrees. Your severe weather index is low because we're not going to be seeing anything other than those uh, mostly sunny skies during the afternoon hours tomorrow. Your weather story is that we're going to be seeing mild air returning early this week. Now let's go ahead and uh, switch on over to the uh, full graphics. It looks like we're going to be seeing temperatures up near the uh, 62 degree mark for the day tomorrow. Some rain showers though moving in by Wednesday. But it's not going to limit our temperature still up to 60 degrees. So definitely a warming trend over the next couple of days there. Right now, 44 in Green Bay. Temperature slowly sliding down through the 40s in Sturgeon Bay. Lots of sunshine at the sunset. 43 degrees there right now. Appleton, a couple more clouds, but overall very sunny finish to the day after we saw some more cloud cover earlier. 47 degrees. Right now we're at 45 in Manitowoc. Again, lots and lots of sunshine there. And then in Shawna, a little bit more cloud cover than all of the aforementioned locations. You can see some additional cloud cover actually towards evening there. 46 degrees right now. Across the rest of the state, we're at 44 in Green Bay. 51 at Wausau, a little bit of cloud cover there. Also in Minneapolis, they're sitting at 49 degrees. But we did stay dry. You can see there those clouds out towards the uh, Shawano area moving on in. But again, tonight we're partly cloudy at the worst. We will be staying dry. The uh, big weather story actually further out towards the east, which you can see on the further right portions of your screen. Got a big storm starting to work its way on up the east coast. Lots of moisture there as we take a look at the water vapor image. But what we're going to be seeing is actually that's going to help our weather as we move on through the early parts of this week because what it's going to do is it's kind of going to kind of hold up a system that's trying to push its way on in from the west. We've got an area of high pressure that started to now slide its way on down into areas south of us. And that's going to be uh, starting to kind of ridge out and stretch a ridge of high pressure between us, which we can show you actually here on our future track graphic. So here's that storm working its way on up the east coast. We're going to see that actually dump pretty heavy uh, snowfall totals over western Pennsylvania. There's that area of high pressure further off towards our south. There's also going to be another one off towards the north. And as this storm starts to work its way on up to the north, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of hold up uh, this area of high pressure right here from sliding on into the area. And that area of ridging actually kind of stays over top of us. And what it does is it kind of holds this area of low pressure further back out towards the west. And so we get stuck in clear skies for the day on Monday. And it also delays everything on Tuesday for moving in towards us. We stay dry, but we do see more cloud cover push in. And then I think as we move into Tuesday, we also start to see some more mild air move its way on in as well. For tonight, 33 degrees, partly cloudy, some patchy frost north perhaps. But tomorrow, seasonable, 58 degrees, mostly sunny conditions. A little bit breezy in the afternoon, winds out of the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. For Tuesday, mostly cloudy and warmer, a high of 62 degrees. And again, we could see some rain showers for the day on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, that we clear right back out. We'll be a little bit chilly on Thursday, a high of only 51. But by the time we reach the weekend, Looks like temperatures bouncing back up to where we should be this time of the year. So even though it might be a little bit dicey right in the middle of the week, again, moving towards the weekend should be nicer. And we're starting out the week pretty nice as well. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Phil. Phil.